Welcome back to JNC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I'm going to attempt a version of this card. This is one of my backgrounds from my background stash and it is getting smaller. It might not look it, but it definitely is. And today I've chose this background and this is going to be my base card, but I'm not sure that I'm doing this because I don't want to take away from... So, the flowers are... Wait, I put my other specs on. Can I see what I'm looking at? I might be able to read them. Yes, we can see the flowers are from Alina Cuttle Lair Flowered Stencil and Dyes. Okay, so there are five stencils. Right. So, a waffle flower grip mat. This is my new one that I got for Christmas. Which is why the top bit is oh coming off like a day's work. It hasn't been used yet. I need a piece of card. I need a piece of card. Okay. That is one, two, three, four, five. It's like five and a half by five and a half, I think. Five and a half by five and a half. Let's see if that works. Stencil number one. Oh no, it needs to be bigger because that doesn't fit on there. Okay, so six by six then. Right. Six by six stencil number one. The problem is that then my stencil doesn't fit onto my waffle flower grip mat. So pink. We're going pink today to match the thingy and I have powder pink. How many dye inks I have? Them's their own brushes. The only dye inks I have in the amount of are stumping up ones. I do. I would like to invest in the Gina K ones eventually but it's a big investment and I don't think I use them enough yet to I tend to use my um what do you call it distress inks Um, but I don't know how many ordinary distress inks I have. They are packed away, but my oxides sit out beside me. So this is really a light base. And these three are leaves, so you have to be careful there. I don't 
don't want to go over that. We're nearly done with our first layer. There are five layers of the flower. Very good. Very good indeed. Right, light green. Let's do a light green while we're on it. What colour is this? Mint macaron. You just have to be really careful up around the edges. So you, do, you don't want to go over it into the other bit. Oops. Right, that's good to go anyway. So that's number one done. One. One. Number two is going to be Flirty Flamingo. And there are two little dots in the corners. Up there and down there. And they can help you position your stencil in the right place. So. You're just going over with your lighter colour now. Or your darker colour. Um, I did have to be careful for there was a couple of wee finickety bits in this. That this little bit here. You had to be careful of. I'm actually not even using all of these, so I didn't have to do them all. I'm using this one and this one, I think. Or else that one and this one. Okay. Let's get that one up. So that was number two. Oh no, I need to do the green. We need to do the green. What's next in green? Pear pizzazz. Okay. There's a couple of wee delicate bits on that as well. So pear pizzazz is finished. Now we're doing lovely lipstick for number three. Number three. There we go. Where we get our tape. Once you've done this, you've got enough flowers to make a couple of 
couple of cards if you want. that one done. We'll do the green and this is Emerald Envy and it is the tiniest little bits. Okay so that's that one done. Right now Number four is actually just this little bit here, and I'm not sure about it. So, I am going to number five to do my last layer of the flowers, etc. Once we get it set up, that is. And for this one, I'm using rose red. that bit up there. And we're nearly done. And we're going to do the last green bit in the same dark green as we did before. I don't think we need Right, I'm going to do Poppy Parade for that last bit there and see what it looks like. I did it in a brownie colour in the other one and you didn't really see it. So we're going to try something different and you don't have to worry about the green because they're the exact same as the one you've done previously. So those are flowers. I'm going to go and run them through with the dyes and come back. So we've got our flowers all cut out now. I didn't cut these two out right because this one moved. Right, so we put that away in a minute. So we've got a six by six, it's just under six by six card base. And our pink card is five and five by five and five. And our white card is, or our pattern card is five and three by five and three and I didn't really want I want to keep I want to keep the starburst the sunburst kind of thing so we're going to attempt to do that Okay, and we're going to attempt to layer it like that, and then that 
final leaf can go in there like that. I would like that, like that, and that down there, like that. Right, so now we just have to glue it all down. So I will go ahead and do that. Now that I know the layer, the layout that I want. So I hope that my, now you see that Alina Cuttle flower thing, that's in my stash and I have never used it before. This was the first time using it for these cards. So I hope that what I'm doing inspires you to go through your craft supplies. Get out the stuff that you haven't used. Or the stuff that you haven't used in a while. Forget about spending. Use what you have. And get your money's worth. There's no harm in getting new stuff now and again. I like new stuff now and again. I got a new waffle flower mat. I got a new Gemini 2 for Christmas. <laughs> but... You can still use up the stuff that you have in your stash. Right, so. These two here are going to be flat. I think. And that leaf. Right, let's just get some glue down. Like this. Okay. And then just wiggle it just a little bit until you're happy with it. <laughs> so I want that one in there like that. And I want that one up there like that. I'm going to have to cut a bit off. And do I want that one in there like that? Let's give it a go and see. See how the cookie crumbles. And because I'm using Kalal glue, I can still wiggle it just a little bit. And then I'm going to take foam tape and put the top one up on foam tape. Pair of scissors, please, love. have to do is find a sentiment that works with it too. And then once again I've got these little flowers over with these other ones. I've only got, I can't find the other ones. Oh well. Anyway. Sentiments. Do we have any sentiments that we can use? 
Happy birthday, happy birthday. I quite like that. I quite like that. So I do. What else have we got in here? We could colour a sentiment with some inks. Put it up there. I like that too. You know what I'm going you know what's quite happening? I'm going to like blink and everything and I'm not going to be able to make a decision. No, I don't like that one. I have to say, I kind of like that wish. Like that, but what colour would you do it? I wonder, could I cut one out in that background colour and do that? Wait till I go and find that die and cut it out and see what I think. So, I've cut the wish out again in the, the scrap of the background card which I have no idea where it came from I just found it in my box so that is going to go on there oops one hopes that's going to go on there and stick down okay and then that will be our version 2 using the same flowers but different backgrounds this was a border which is why I cut this one I cut it out of the background card and then layered it on my phone tape. And that wish is a crafter's companion die. I've had quite a long time. And that is one of the sentiments that I use all the time. So thank you for stopping by. I um, I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did comment subscribe come back for some more and hopefully help me keep going um i do have to test out my foil press in my new gemini yet so that will be coming up in january sometime so thank you for stopping by much appreciated i hope you're all safe and well and until the next time jackie